Just start with one rental house. This is Rick Jarman Real Estate Old School. You know, I did a video the other day. I talked about how one rental house could change your life. It could change it for the good or it could change it for the bad. You need to go watch that video to see what all I said. And y'all here, I come out here going to light me up a cigar. I ain't had a cigar all week long. Of course, I know it's just Tuesday, but I don't even know if I have one this weekend. I get out here, and that darn dog goes to yapping. <laughs> Somebody was running their weed eater. I don't know. Y'all just have to tune him out. I can't, but maybe y'all can. But, you know, getting into the rental business, it's like the old saying, eating an elephant. You know, you eat an elephant one bite at a time, they say. I ain't never had no elephant, so I don't know. But here's the thing. You can let it all overwhelm you, thinking about everybody talking about mother family, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need 10 units, 15 units, 20 units, and it just kind of can overwhelm you. But all you need to do is concentrate on getting you one rental house. Make sure it has a positive cash flow. Don't pay too much. Get you a good tenant. Get started. And now you're on your way. Pay your payment. Collect the rent. But if you're not careful, you'll let all this overwhelm you. Say, well, I don't know how to figure the, the cap rate. Uh, I don't know what an ARV is. I, how, how you do the bird method, are they? Folks, just buy you one piece of property, one rental house. Take it slow. Get your feet wet. Don't let it overwhelm you. Just get that one. Get started. And if that goes good, get that second one. And all I hear everybody say, here's what they say. Let me get me a draw on this cigar. Mm, that's so good. But here's what they say. Well, now that you got your one house, two house, now you need to move up to some multifamily. You need to get your 10 unit, 50 unit. Well, that's fine if that's what you want to do. Folks, I've had some multifamily. I don't like them. I like Section 8, C-class property. My rents are still coming in. I don't care if the government has a freeze on tenants can't evict it or not because I'm getting my money from the government, most of it. You know, you don't have to jump out there and do a big bunch of apartments or whatever, like I said. I found out what works for me, and that's what I do. And it works good. I got three duplexes. I got some commercial property. But everything I got just about single family homes. You don't have to go out there just because you ain't got 10, 50, 20 units of apartments. Don't mean you ain't playing with the big boys. Trust me. You get enough of them single family homes, it will add up. And it'll add up nicely. But anyway, I had this on my mind for all my new followers that have started following me in the last little while. Go and watch all my videos. I'm not trying to say anything in them. Like I said, I don't want your money. You know, I'm in the rental business. I rent property. I flip houses and I have a real estate office. That's one agent works for me. That's what I do for a living. I don't need to sell you a course. I don't need to sell you anything. Don't want to. But now I'm going to tell you this. I ain't going to say much about my book I'm writing because I am going to try to say it to you when I get done because it's book writing's harder than I thought it was going to be. Because, you know, I can't spell. I tell you all the time I can't spell, but I ain't had like hell. But this book writing, me getting it down, I can record it. Then I got somebody to type it. But I am going to tell you what I am going to say, and I'm working on it. And I don't mean the book because, like I said, that's a little slower than I thought of this. Of course, I make up my mind I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, so I'm going to get that book done one way or the other even if I can't spell. But I'm getting me some t-shirts printed up. Mm-hmm. They working on the artwork. Now, when I get them, mm-hmm, I'm going to sell them. I'm not selling them to you because I got to pay the bills with them, but I want you. I like selling things. 
You know, I like making money. You know, I'm in business. I'm a businessman. I like making money. In fact, I used to tell folks when I'd be trying to sell something, I'd say, look, you need to buy this. I said, my kids are so hungry, they're sucking on the door now. That's all I got to say today, folks. Talk with y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good day.